corners. Fly ball, left field. Cooper under it, makes the catch, tagging Billingsley, and the throw into second base, and the Jaguars are on the board. So sacrifice fly for a mark. Several well hit balls already. Ooh. And that's well hit to center field. Ocasio making the catch. Tagging is Barnes. He'll score easily. And another sacrifice fly. Right in the order. Yes. Big cut there. Yeah. And a strikeout. Change so up. Bell got him. Two strikeouts to open up the sixth. Alisea, he's facing the middle part of the order. Travis Swagger to lead it off. Hits a fly ball. Deep center field, backing up Ocasio, it's over his head, and it'll go to the fence. Rounding second, Swaggerty on his way to third, he's in there with a triple. Wow, what a big hit for the South Alabama team. Seventh inning. Up at the corners, and there's a drive that should bring in the tying run, hit to left center, and that's gonna drop for a base hit and go to the fence. Swaggerty scores, Martinez into second with an RBI double, and we're tied at three. Well, that Andy was Bell has been efficient and effective as he faces oh. DeAndre Amion, who drives it to right field, and it is off the fence. Amy on the big turn, he's on his horse, close play, out at second base. Wow, what a play. First of all, what a drive into the screen out there, and then thrown out at second base, representing the lead run. Swing and a drive into the alley in right center field. That is going to be off the wall. Scoring is Hardy. LeBounty rounding third. Here's the relay throw to the plate. Not in time. Wow, was that exciting. Labonte coming all the way from first. Waggerty tripled his last time up. Swings and bounces it towards third. Bare hand throw by Hernandez and he throws it away. And that will score Billingsley at six to three. Rounding second, Swaggerty. Nine, here I go. One, two. Strike, Strike three, three called. He strikes out Rivera, and South Alabama wins it with a come from behind six to three victory here. Today was a matter of of our players um, just finding a way to win the ball game. That, that's what we did. We found a way to win. It didn't look good early. <clears throat> Could have been easy to mope and sulk and pout after getting it handed to us pretty good yesterday by a very good Southern Miss team. But that's, that's not who our team is. That's not who our guys are. And uh, they came out, and, and they were relentless in their pursuit of, of trying to win a ball game today. We're just, like Coach Covey said, throwing strikes and going after them. Um, early on, they got some good swings on some mistakes on my part, so I knew if I could limit the mistakes, then, then I'd be in control of the game. But yeah, just the game plan, just, just going after us. Like Coach Cavi said, my game plan is just, just let them hit it and let the defense work. And again today, they, they made some outstanding plays, ball, throwing balls, guys out of second, and just making some plays over third. And just all around, it was a good defensive day again. Oh, it's awesome. But credit to Randy, you know, when he pitches like that, you know, all we want to do is score a bunch of runs for him. So we grinded, we battled just like he did in the box. So we got some runs across. He was huge for us, and we knew he was going to be able to finish it out. No one feels as good physically today as they did the first month of the season. The key is, the key is you have to stay level mentally. I have to have guys feeling a little bit better than they felt mentally at the start of the year. Um, so these kids, whether we win or lose, it won't be because emotionally they were too high or too low. Um, some teams and some coaches, they, they, they allow it. They, they go up and down and up and down. It's too hard and it's, it's, it just becomes, men when, you, when you become mentally tired, it's over. You can work through some physical fatigue. Mental fatigue is, is that, that's tough, man. That's tough. Our kids are not mentally tired. Physically, I, I, yeah, they're a little tired. You can, you can pull any team in this country right now, and every kid will tell you that's played all the time. They're physically, they're a little bit tired. Um, but our guys are mentally tough, and, and, uh, and it'll take some more mental toughness tomorrow.